from the Storm Team Weather Lab, KMAC meteorologist Jacob Riley. Well, a good Tuesday morning to you. It is cold across the area and it looks like it's going to stay that way for the remainder of the day today, dealing with some areas of patchy drizzle out there, and that's going to continue throughout the evening hours as well. So out there right now in Denver City, that's where we're seeing some of that drizzle this morning. A good morning to you. If you are waking up with us, you can see the wind kind of blowing the flags around here as well. The tops of the roofs are a little wet thanks to that drizzle here in Denver City. Current temperature, though, is 34 degrees, so it's not an icy mix. Uh, they're sticking to the roads or roofs yet, but that could be possible as we go later throughout the overnight hours tonight into your Wednesday morning, but across the region right now, again, it's really hard for that drizzle to pick up on radar, so it looks clear out there, but we are seeing that patchy drizzle occur across the entire area here this morning. On off to our north, though, they're dealing with a little bit heavier of uh, precipitation up there, dealing with some heavy snow in Denver area. They've seen that for the past couple of days, so if you have any travel plans up that way, just keep that in mind you will likely be experiencing some delays. Today, though, back home here across the area, very cold, only in the upper 30s to our north and east here along the middle section of the area along the 84 corridor. That's where we will see those temperatures in the middle 40s. But if you live to the south and west of Highway 84, that's where temperatures could be a little bit warmer into the upper 40s and lower 50s for your Tuesday today. As we go throughout time, our future cast model here picking up that drizzle across the area. Areas of the pink is where we could see some of that freezing drizzle, so that's where the temperature will be below 32, so could have a few slick spots there on bridges and overpasses here in Lubbock, though we should remain just in liquid form for today. As we go overnight tonight, though, this is looking at midnight tonight going into your Wednesday morning. That's when we'll begin to see some more of that drizzle become a little bit heavier across the region. As that happens, we'll see those temperatures drop close to freezing, so we could be dealing with a couple of slick spots across the area early Wednesday morning. And then by Wednesday afternoon, once the system begins to wrap up, there will be a brief uh, kind of influx of moisture there. So we could see a few snow flurries there, especially to the north of Highway 70, but no snow accumulation is expected across the area. And you'll see that here on our snowfall forecast map. All of it staying well and off to the north of us there in uh, Amarillo, though they could see around another inch, whereas last week they picked up about five and a half to six inches there. In terms of ice across the region, not a whole lot expected, but you can see maybe around a hundredth of an inch here in Lubbock and a hundredth of an inch there in Clovis. That could be just enough to cause a few slick spots again on some more elevated surfaces such as bridges and overpasses. But tomorrow's going to be even colder across the region, only in the 30s across the northern portions of the area. Some people may not even make it above freezing tomorrow here in the Hub City, though. We should be in the upper 30s, lower 40s, and down to the south of us, they should be topping out there in the middle 40s. So a cold day regardless of where you live across the region tomorrow and today. Tonight, 31 degrees as we get past midnight again. That's whenever we'll begin to see some of those uh, more frozen precipitation types become more possible across the region. Those winds there will be out of the northeast around 8 to 12 miles an hour. That's really going to help to bring in some of that colder air. So your seven day forecast will show you cold today at a high of 40 degrees. Tomorrow only expecting a high around 39 degrees. But look at Wednesday night into Thursday. We'll get down into the upper teens and lower 20s across the region forecasting a date or morning glow there on Thursday of 19 degrees. Halloween should be nice though and sunny across the area. As you head out for trigger treating temperatures will be in the 40s there. So a little chilly. Take that jacket. But next weekend, we'll finally see those temperatures after daylight saving time comes to an end. Go up to 66 on Sunday, then 72 on Monday. And I cannot wait for that 72 there, Avery, on Monday. How yeah, about you? That is going to feel really great. Yes. I know this time of year, you and I both are winter people. We like yeah. these colder temperatures, but I don't know that cold this soon. Yeah. I like them more in December, not as much in October. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So sure. bundle up and just get through it, and then we'll hang on to that future 70s. Yes, we will. Jacob, thanks for tracking. Of course.